Alan Robson's Night Owls. I shall move straight across to Ant, who is in Washington. Hello. Hello, Hello. Ant. Hello. Hello, mate. I gather you've been up here to the Blue Bell. Yes. Um, I was there, I think it was about September last year. Um, right. So I think I've, 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 I've spoken to you a few times. Uh, I work for a company called Spirit sure. Seekers. Um, yeah, for and, no, we know Spirit Seekers. They, yeah. You do all kinds of stuff all over yeah, the place. Yeah, we do. So um, presumably you've, you've been here for a hunt then, have you? Yeah, we have. Um, we it actually got our event of the year last year. Um, oh, wow. Tell me everything it about it. What amazing. happened? <laughs> um, so first of all, we were in the, uh, in the ballroom. And we right. were hearing various noises. I mean, you, you're talking... At, at this time, there was about 20 people in there. Um, right. And things happening when there's about 20 people about, it doesn't... Things don't normally happen. Um, in a certain yeah, because part of too, room, there's too many people there to, yeah. to be able to narrow down where yeah. the noises are coming from. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, so we were getting taps and bangs coming from hallways where we knew, where we knew there was nobody there. In, in fact, there was two of us in the hallway and we knew there was nobody there because we weren't allowed in and so so whilst we didn't go in we just stood on the doorway and so we, we didn't know where where that was coming from and then right. we had a, a distinct cold spot in the middle of of the of the ballroom and mm -hmm. which was yeah we got that yeah a bit a bit weird and then we put our spirit box on with the radio where the voices come over and um, yeah. we're getting the, um, a woman through as clear as day. She didn't want us in there. Um, well, the weird thing is, we we've got a little five minute piece where uh, we we've tried the spirit box again. We've tried two or three times. Mm -hmm. The first time we were going to play because we thought, "Ooh, that's impressive." Uh, and then we recorded another bit. We says, oh, we're not going to play that first bit. Because <laughs> the second bit lended itself to a conversation with who we think is one of the people that's that's in here. Who did you get, though? We know that there's a character called Lizzie who, whose real name was Hildy. We know that a guy hanged himself kind of round the back somewhere. Um, what, did, what did you get from a, a, a personality point of view? Um, personality, I, what I can remember is, we got a woman, a, a woman as clear as day in the ballroom. I right. know she yeah. she didn't want us there. She wouldn't she wouldn't give us her name, and um, she had right. a more of a say Scottish accent, um, right. yeah, which is kind of expected, I guess. Um, but then, but then we went to a room upstairs after we split into smaller groups, and I'm only talking groups of four or five now, um, right. and I'm not going to mention what room it was. Right. But, we were in the room. I know you've met Sam tonight. Um, we have. And yep, and Sam and, and Sam was w w was with me at, at, at the time. Um, we were on the uh -huh. bed. Um, we were just sitting on the bed, and the bed <laughs> starts shaking. <laughs> and I was. And I was is, like, is this not just your libido? Well, no, no, no. This, no <laughs> well, this is what I was thinking. I was like. Yeah, yeah, this is just me. Yeah, yeah this is just me. It was. <laughs> and then I was like, no. It's like a volcano shaking. building. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the bed's definitely, definitely shaking. So I turned on to Sam. I'm, Sam, can you feel that? And she goes, yeah, is it not you? And I went, so I was like, Yeah, they've you. all tried that with Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, and, and she goes, and she goes, no, it's not me. So then we just sit back and, every, and, every, and, the, and the, the rest of the people who are in the room Stand in a circle around the bed, but they're not touching the bed. And this bed right. is at this at this Ooh. point now totally violently shaken. Uh, to like get yeah. us off the bed. Um, I've I've never experienced anything like it in my life. Um, but it, it was weird. I, I I must have checked every person in that room about four or five Make times. Make sure the foot wasn't on the bed, sure giving it so. I know, amazing. Oh, that Imagine though that you've booked a room here at the Blue Bell and <laughs> you're in that room on your own and Linda yeah, and, yeah, exactly. and the bed starts like, yeah, shaking when you're in it. <laughs> right. Good luck with good luck with that later. But bottom line here is um you've got all of this a lot of people around and uh, you do it a diff obviously a different way to yeah. we do. You you and involve as many as you can. I understand yeah, um, that. Well, not, um, not really. Not how, really. how do you separate it, though? How do you um, separate so, sound and stuff from those things? So it, it, it's it's literally just being at the opposite end of the building. There's um, one being upstairs, right. one, one being downstairs, yeah. and you can't hear each other. Um, yeah. 
I mean, like we 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 we, we all over the place. I mean, Belford was for me it was easy to do. We had I think we had three groups. We did, right. and it was just one was up one side, one was at the other, and one was downstairs. Yeah. It was yeah. it was simple. And um, every group had. What something. was the most? The bed was amazing. Yeah. Was the that the, was most the most vivid thing, room. or was this? Yeah. Or was there something um, else? There was there was something else. We were in another room, um, mm-hmm. and the. Uh, we, 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 we heard we, we could hear it it was like a dog and I was like oh there must be a dog outside um, barking yeah. but it was only slightly you could hear it um, I've, mm. I, I've, I even think I've got a recording of it um, so all of a sudden like, we, go, we, 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 we have K2 meters which is the meters with the flashing light and we, and we yeah, dotted yeah. them all around the room and it uh-huh. was like it, something was running around the room on, the, on these K2 meters and then people were like really? I can feel something on my legs and something on my knee and so these lights were just dotting around like something was running around so we thought this may be the dog and it's the dog that we can hear on on on, on the like like on the recording fabulous so it's just so, I mean, us, but... it's a good good place to be though the bluebird it yeah seems. definitely i mean it's that good that we've actually booked another event there fantastic <laughs> hey yeah. i don't blame you Hey, well, thanks for coming on, Ant. Top yeah, job. Um, I'm a, well I'm done. Okay to, I'm, I'm okay to see when we're going to be back at the Blue Bell. Yeah, of course. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Right, so we're going to be back at the Blue Bell on the 1st of June. Um, it's a Saturday. Um, if anybody wants right. tickets, if you just visit spiritseekers.co.uk, I'm sure that sure, it's going to be an amazing night again. Well, good luck to you. Thanks okay. for keeping in touch, Ant. Appreciate it. Right. Have a great night. I will, man. Take care. Bye-bye. There you see, you've got some great ghost hunters kicking around.